Welcome, soul friends and soul family. I'm Yashar, and this is another Keter Guidance reading. This time, we're reading for Virgo. Are you ready, Virgo? Let's see. We're going to go ahead and do a personal message card for you. Virgo, 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 your energy has been calling me in all year. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to start doing more readings for you because I feel it like your energy is resonating with me like crazy, like vibrant, strong, like, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this personal message card. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when your readings are coming, when they're fresh and hot and ready for you. All right. And make it clap one more time and then we'll grab this personal reading card. Personal message card. All right, personal message card for Virgo. Oh, I don't know what happened. I feel like I started my last reading out for Virgos and switched to Scorpios right at the beginning. <laughs> but I think it was it was meant to be that way because this is a different energy on this reading. Very different energy. Okay. Virgo, be kind to others. We're all in this together. Hmm, Virgo. Have you been being mean to the team? Be kind to the team, Virgo. All right? We know that you are the drill sergeant. You are the one who makes things happen, who keeps things in order, who makes sure that events go off like they were supposed to and all that fabulous stuff. But make sure that you're being kind to others because these are your partners, your teammates, people that you're doing things with. Like if you're working with folks, make sure that you're not being mean to them, Virgo, okay? It's, I know it can be difficult sometimes because you're just being you, you're just dropping that good knowledge, you're just being blunt, you're not sugarcoating nothing for nobody, but remember that the team works better when morale is high. So in order to keep morale high, you gotta be nice, all right? You get disgruntled folks around you and suddenly things don't flow the way that they're supposed to, all right? The way that they were, the way you want them to. So keep morale high, be nice to the team. Also, there is no perfect time to start something. The time is now. That's the only perfect time, now. So get up and make it pop, Virgo, all right? So let's, we'll see how those messages apply here in a little bit. Don't forget that I told you to be nice to the team. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get to our tarot. All right, looking at our tarot, we are in our Aleister Crowley thought cards. All right, Virgo, why do you have me vibrating, baby? What's going on with your energy right now? Because all of a sudden I go to read for you and I am vibrating like crazy. Energy, energy, energy. What's culminating for you, darling? I told you. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. It's time to make an adjustment, Virgo. All this ru passionate rushing forward, all this. Something is not. 
Something is blocking your abundance from coming in. Something is uh, something's blocking Virgo's abundance from coming in. We don't like that. Let me see here. We are looking at the strength card. You're strong. You're definitely strong. I mean, that goes without saying. Energy. You're kind of like coming in like the judge, jury, and executioner. All right? That's the energy that I'm getting off of you. It's judge, jury, and executioner. Um, and it's kind of like a warning of like, if you don't chill, you're going to block your blessings. <laughs> That's the message that I'm getting from you right now. Is that if you don't chill, you're going to block your blessings. And you're like, oh, okay, well, when this happens, I'm going to chill. But it's like, no. You need to chill right now. Right now. Okay. We know you've been through something. This we know. We know you, you, you waited patiently, you had to figure things out, you had, you had to balance things out, like you had to be strong, you went through a lot. And it kind of put you in a savage space where you're kind of like, nah, fuck that shit. My bad. <laughs> where you had to be like, oh, no, you know, I don't care, no shorts, no losses, like this is just what it is right now. But that is, I guess, the time and place to be in that energy. Maybe you needed that energy to conquer your situation as it was. But it's like, that's not the proper energy for you to be in right now. Let's see. Yeah, we're talking about possible blocking of blessings. So, you're being a little too harsh. A little too gung-ho. A little too I think you're angry I think you got hurt and oh yeah you definitely went through some disappointments but you're not trying to have that happen anymore you're like uh-uh no we're not doing that no more I bet y'all don't go through that again I bet you don't go through that again and I think personally that you tried to work some things out with Somebody from the past, people from the past. I mean, yes, yes, we're in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde period. Everybody wants to dibble dabble in the past. People from the past, places from the past. They come up, they haunt you. Um, feelings like maybe you you went and you started trying to reignite emotions between you and other people from the past. And eh, maybe they, you're picking up on situations that are like, I feel like you're not sitting and chilling, but though you're supposed to be sitting and chilling. It's like, it's a sit and chill. It's a build yourself up, period. And you're kind of like just, you've been doing the most. And I don't think that you're like, <laughs> what are you going through, Virgo? Like, what's happening? Why'd you put yourself out there and start dating people again and stuff like that when your heart is still guarded and conflicted due to whatever situation that you went through? I mean, you got... Okay, you got people coming in from the past trying to get at you or whatever, but it's like your heart is guarded. You're not really dealing with people or person, whatever. You're not really opening your door for them. And you're not really interested. You're not opening your heart to them. You're just kind of like, hey, I'm just dating. I'm just kind of focused on me right now. I've been through some stuff. And yeah, 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 okay, I hear you, I hear you, but this ain't about you right now. Like, I'm trying to get my head back on straight. I'm trying to get myself together. Um, 
but it's like the energy that you're looking at this situation in is like your traumatized energy. Like you've been through something and oh no, wait, wait. Oh no, somebody from the past is trying to come in and win your heart. Somebody from the past is trying to come in and win your heart. And you're like in that energy of what all you just went through. So you're clearly like, no, that's not. It's been a lot of, um, you have like your way of seeing relationships, your traditional ways of, of behaving in relationships. And you know, you got your, your, the way that you see it, that it should go and how it plays out in your head and everything like that. You know, standard traditional stuff. Like, you know, there's some guys who pull out chairs, some guys who open doors, some guys who, you know, whatever. Some guys who feel like they got to be the breadwinner, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't feel like you're all too traditional. Like you, I feel like you, you find peace and safety. And yeah, I just popped myself with a rubber band, but okay. You find <laughs> peace and safety and solace and whatnot in the traditional um, dynamics of a relationship um, that have been handed down or whatever. But it's not like what you need. It's not what you have to have. Um... You don't have to dominate the relationship or nothing like that or whatever, but more so than anything, I feel like you're you're like kind of over letting someone else kind of dominate you. And I, I, yeah, I think that's what goes on around here. I think folks be thinking that they can try to dominate you or you know whatever. And I think okay, boom, boom, it just came in. Thank you on the strength of the relationship that you were in. You be handling people foul. You be handling people wrong. <laughs> like anything that resembles or look like is about to smell like, sound like that previous thing that you went through, you shutting it down. And you're very blunt. You cold-blooded. And that mouthpiece of yours and that strong energy coming out from you be running people off. You got choices. You got options. But you're so on guard because of the previous situation that you're running off the new options. You're running off the new options. Because um, you went through it. You went through it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you made me fight for that one. What's this? Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not going through that no more. Nope. You said that's over. I went through that. I did that. I tried to live through that. And I discovered that that ain't for me. It took forever to close that out, to close that situation out. Even though I felt like we had something. But I'm not trying to, mm -mm. I will not repeat that. I will not relive that. I will not be worried anymore about where I stand or if I'm important or, you know, like, mm -mm. I'm not putting myself back in that position of feeling like I'm not enough. Because that's how you felt. You felt, you allowed someone to make you feel like you were not enough. But you know you're enough. You know you're enough. You've always known you were enough. But you, you allowed someone to get away with treating you like you weren't enough. You allowed someone to, to even allow the feeling to creep into your spirit that you wasn't enough. Knight of Swords. Oh, no, King of Swords. You were living in your feelings. You weren't quite thinking. You were living in your feelings. And that whole situation, it had you 
out of sync. You trying to be in a relationship with somebody and the whole thing just feeling oppressing and them making you worry about whether everything is good or not. And it's just like, ugh, nobody got time for that. And, you know, I feel like you decided to get out of your head about all of this because, or that you realize, I hope you realize that it's really keeping you out of your manifestation energy. It's throwing you off on your vibrations of what all that you needed to be doing. Um, what I told I have told you guys, and I have told you guys, about your your energy, your vibrations are very important. Okay, what what level you vibrate on? Hey, if you're vibrating on a twelve point five, and 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 you're supposed to be on a seventeen point two, or you know, I'm just making up stuff. But <laughs> but if you're on a seventeen point two, and you're vibrating on a twelve point five, because you got all kind of thirteen point sevens, and and 7.3s and all this kind of stuff floating around you, interrupting the natural flow of your energy, okay, then everything that's for you that's supposed to be coming in on that 20.7 or whatever the number I said, it's not going to be able to find you. You're all the way down there on a 13.5. Allowing all these other energies to pull you out of your natural energy to have you vibrate on the wrong frequency. So, yeah, having this situation, and it can totally put you in a place to not receive what's for you. And we don't want that. Oh. Well, aren't you the one, though? You're the one who be dominating everything. You challenge everyone. And right here... <laughs> you are the one who's always trying to dominate others. Power struggle much? Call a truce. It's time to call a truce. It's time to call a truce. Now this takes us back to that original card with, with, with speaking, <laughs> where you need to be nice to the team. You need to stop being so mean. You want people to join the team. Then when they get on the team, you're always trying them up. I mean, you already tested them to allow them to get on the team. You tested them, you tested them, you tested them to allow them to get on the team. That's what you did. Then you see that they're worthy of being on the team, then you allow them on the team, and then you keep testing them and testing them and testing them and flexing your muscles on their back. <laughs> you cannot do that. Morale has to stay high if the team is going to perform and produce. Yes, exactly right. Mm -hmm. All right, I need some advice for you because you're a nut. <laughs> I need some advice for you because you are a nut. I see, I see an apology. I see an apology being given. Someone apologizing. Okay, advice. Advice for a go. Sheesh. What is going on, Virgo? Everything is going to be blocked. Everything for you is going to be blocked. All the fa fabulous team that you build, all the people who usually support you and help you to be successful, new ideas and concepts and things coming in and, manif and, and you manifesting them, bringing them to fruition. Um, If you don't get right and you don't get your shit together, you've got to stop this power struggle. You've got to stop this power struggle. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this action. Watch this. 
Do you see that, Virgo? Do you see that? Power struggle. That's what happened. Look at that. It starts out this way. And you see the war. Do you see the war? The power struggle? And then their backs are to one another. So the craziest thing is, I feel that you have your equal. You have your equal. You've met your match. And this individual, I feel like you guys can make like an awesome team. You can make an awesome team. You've got great ideas that you put into play together and everything. But all this gets interrupted if you don't learn to choose your battles. If you don't learn that it's important for morale to be high. I mean, like, you guys are literally going to war. Going to war. And in the end, you're not dealing with each other anymore. And due to all of this, you end up. You end up with your, the unity being broken, the success being blocked, the new ideas and concepts for new projects not panning out how they're supposed to. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm, I don't know, I got some Aries energy. What's that Aries energy? Creative energy being blocked. Ugh. Man, ugh. Creative energy being blocked. Oh, no, 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 no. What do we need to do, Virgo? What do we need to do? Some more advice for our Virgos. What does Virgo need to do to get it together? All right. You need to tap into some lessons that you've had from the past. We're in the retrograde energy, so you'll be revisited, or you may be being, have, have been already being revisited by um, maybe partners or lovers from the past, and it's an opportunity for you to look over everything and to see, you know, what went wrong in the past, who did what, how things played out, what was the part that you played in the negative situations that occurred in the past. Did you learn anything from them? Because if you haven't learned anything from them, you may not be ready to step into this new stage where you can build healthy partnerships. Healthy partnerships and new, new ventures. Healthy partnership that leads to all kinds of new ventures like, and maybe even love. Yeah, you, I think that you need to, these new, these guys from the past, these, these folks from the past that are coming in, um, what you got to do is you, you need to really take a look at these situations and think, you know, have these conversations say, gosh, you know, why didn't we work out? What do you think could have been, you know, have these honest conversations because a lot of times when there's not the, the energy of okay we're in this relationship so i don't know what i need to tell you i just need to tell you the best answer that i can tell you to keep you around well when that relationship breaks up and sometimes folks can you know relax and really be their true self and they're living in more of a friendship energy and it's kind of like all right well this is what i was feeling at the time this is what i was thinking at the time this is what i was going through at the time and this is why i did what i did at the time based on what you were doing or what you were saying or whatever and maybe i shouldn't have done this but this was you know what i mean so these conversations can be had and they can provide you with closure. Um, not just closure of, okay, now I got over you, but closure to allow you to know um, where you've grown or where you may have needed to grow. Okay, so what I'm getting here from the cards is that you need to revisit some of those situations. Take a closer look, a deeper look at yourself and the part that you play within these situations. Learn the lesson. Learn the lesson. Grow up. So you can glow up, baby, because I want you to have everything that you're supposed to have. All right. You are a, a master manifester, Virgo. You, you can make things happen with sheer will alone. So whenever things are slowing down or not, or, or you're feeling stuck or blocked in any kind of way, well, there's something else about you. You are 
Um, you are great at self-help, leveling yourself up, growing to new heights, making necessary changes within your own personality, character, um, and choices. So that's what you're being called on to do right now. You've got to make some changes and you can't say, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I'm going to, da, 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 da. You heard it first here. There's no perfect time to start. Say now. Time is now. Before you upset everything that's been going beautifully for you. That's what we're talking about here. All right, now, um, just to even things out a bit, we'll go with what's gonna happen. Should you heed the advice, Virgo? Should you heed the advice? If this is your story, please like down below. Should you heed this advice, what happens for you? Oh gosh, I'm excited. I'm not even gonna say it, I'm gonna show you. No more pain. Oh. <coughs> My Mary's not working with No more pain No drama No more in my life That's what I don't care <laughs> That's how I feel Anyways, but I'm happy for you If you heed this advice No more pain No more drama um, No more cruelty from you <laughs> Boom! That's the answer. That's what's on the other side. The lover's energy. Uh-huh. Okay. What's up? Shut up. That's what you need to do. Shut up. <laughs> Choose your battles. <laughs> Seriously. That's beautiful. I love the way that ended. Um, let me go ahead and hit you up with one Native American Oracle card before we close this thing completely out. Making it clap one last time for you. Man. Claps better on the table, you know, when I'm like right here in front of the camera. It's like. <laughs> okay. What do you got? Mm -hmm. You know, Virgo, you tend to get this card. You have to find your way back, Virgo. You cannot forget that you are somewhat of a shaman okay and that did you see that master number 11 i don't know if you can see it hopefully you can with my little glossy shiny cards and this bright bright light but 11 is definitely a master number i feel that this is your path to union but we do i just showed you that already the lover's card right um but more of a twin flame union you know what i'm saying like oh this is that spark that spark that you're looking for um this message is for you virgos all of life is a lesson learn the lessons be smart and practice the right use of power does this not go with our original personal message or what Because if you do not practice the right use of power, then morale goes down. And then your loyal subjects are just not quite so loyal as they once were, are they? Hmm. And don't take yourself so seriously. Learn to laugh at yourself. I, one of these cars said something about laughter too. <laughs> but, okay, listen. I don't know, that was probably what I was reading. But you need to not take yourself so seriously. Okay, you can stop and laugh. You can stop being so blunt and so harsh. It's not, it's actually not important that you be blunt and harsh. It's not. Yes, it makes your spirit feel grand and great, but hello, we're speaking about morale, which speaks about other people's spirit. All right, so respect and mischievous behavior. Yeah, you are mischievous. Because a lot of the time when you're doing all this stuff, it sometimes you're just doing it for the sheer joy of how people squirm when you're blunt. How they squirm under your gaze. Cut it out. Oh. 
Yes, the shaman, a rich and powerful symbol. A teacher, but yet a trickster. Hmm. So you be setting folks up sometimes and you know it. You know folks are retarded. <laughs> and you know they're going to squirm. <laughs> and you set them up and you'll watch. You'll just watch like, mm, step into my parlor. No, cut it out. Because the thing is you're breaking potentially fabulous situations. You are. Things are coming in for you that are meant to be used in one way and you're amusing yourself sometimes using the other ways or out of boredom, you know, or whatever else. There have been lessons and in, in this retrograde period, you're going to have so many um, of your lessons coming back to you, coming back as reminders, people and situations that you've learned lessons through. And you're like, oh, that I wrap that up. That's closed. They're going to be moving back into your, you know, coming to circumvent around you again for some reason. Well, what, what is the reason? The reason is the lesson. Um, you're struggling to learn the lesson. These lessons that are supposed to carry you forward to your next level. Um, so wisdom, baby, wisdom. And when you exercise the right use of power, guess what you get? More power. Exercise the right use of power and it leads you to more power. So I think, um, and then that's after that, the next word is fertility. So then you get that number nine, nine of coins card that came in reverse. You can get that upright. Okay. So that's what I have for you today, my Virgos. I thank you so much for joining me for this reading. This has been another Keter Guidance reading. Please, Virgos, my virgins, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. You know I'm all for supporting businesses, small businesses, black businesses, home-based businesses, all that kind of stuff. Show your girl some support and some love, and you will definitely get love and support back, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you guys, and as usual, as always, Yashar is out. <laughs>